This is Adam, and he suffers from gout. Try Urol. It helps to prevent crystallization of uric acid crystals in gout therapy. Urol, effective urinary alkalinizer for gout. Good evening, I'm Kimilia, and this is Kini News. In the fiery saga of socks and sacred words, police have turned their investigative lens to an alarming arson threat aimed at KK Mart's former supplier. Police are currently investigating an arson threat directed towards KK Mart's former supplier, Xin Jian Chang, Sundirian Berhad, amidst the controversies surrounding socks bearing the word Allah. Muhammad Shuhaili Muhammad Zain, Director of the Criminal Investigation Department at Bukit Aman, confirmed that investigators are actively pursuing leads to conclude the probe. Speaking at a press conference at Bukit Aman today, he said every aspect of the 3R issue, particularly concerning the KK Mart case, is being thoroughly examined. However, Shuhaili emphasized that the investigation papers have yet to be finalized. On March 19th, Xin Tian Chang, Sundirian Berhad, the sock supplier embroiled in the controversy, revealed that they had received threats to burn down their factory. It added that personal data of company personnel, such as residential addresses, has also been leaked on social media. In light of this, the company appealed to the Malaysian public to remain calm and refrain from engaging in any form of violence. Meanwhile, when asked about the incident involving a KK Mart store in Bidor being targeted with a patrol bomb yesterday, Shuhaili stated that strict measures have been implemented to ensure harmony and security. Threats have not only been made against KK Mart and its supplier, even the UMNO Youth Chief is not immune. In a shocking twist amidst the KK Mart controversy, a vehicle workshop owner has been arrested for allegedly threatening Akmal. Police have apprehended a vehicle workshop owner accused of issuing a death threat against AMNO Youth Chief Dr. Muhammad Akma Saleh, adding a dramatic twist to an already tense situation. Malaka Tengah District Police Chief Christopher Patit disclosed that the 68-year-old suspect was detained in Kandang following the filing of a police report against him. The arrest stems from a report lodged by a 62-year-old pensioner who claims to have overheard the suspect express hostility towards Akmal at the workshop last Wednesday. According to Patit, the pensioner alleged that the suspect ominously predicted Akmal's demise, citing his stance on the KK Mart controversy as the catalyst. According to Sina Haryan, Patit added that the pensioner alleged that the suspect told him that the AMNO youth chief was going overboard in the KK Mart issue and would surely be shot dead one day. During preliminary interrogation, the suspect reportedly confessed his decision satisfaction with the AMNO Youth Chief's stance on the KK Mart matter. Notably, the 68-year-old, plagued by health issues, was subsequently released on police bail pending further investigation. The case falls under Section 506 of the Penal Code, which deals with criminal intimidation and carries a penalty of up to seven years imprisonment, a fine or both. Meanwhile, amid persistent boycott calls, Akmal finds himself embroiled in a contentious battle over KK Mart's alleged mishandling of socks bearing the word Allah in its slang or outlet. Despite apologies from the chain and its supplier, Akmal remains a staunch advocate for accountability and boycott. Amidst rising tensions over the SOX controversy, PAS issues a call for calm following escalating threats of violence. That's right, say no to violence. Instead, you can subscribe to the Kini Morning Brief. It's Malaysia Kini's free flagship newsletter that sends you summarized key news and analysis straight to your inbox three times a week. Scan the QR code on screen to sign up for free now. PAS has called for calm over the SOX issue following an attempted arson at a KK Mart branch in Perak. According to Malay Mail, Selangor PAS Chief Abdul Halim Tamuri said that Malaysia's harmony must be prioritized and protected. Halim said although he understands how important the SOX fiasco is for Malaysian Muslims, it is not necessary to jeopardize the country's multiracial identity. He said the SOX issue should be looked at through a wider scope. Halim added that in past, they don't just look at the Allah issue, but how to respect other religions as well. 
He was quoted as saying that in a country that lives in harmony, you have to be careful when talking about sensitive issues. Halim also urged politicians to refrain from fanning the controversy for political reasons. He said in Islam they are not allowed to insult other people's religion and that is why they deal with it through discussions and also judicial process. The police are currently investigating the attempted firebombing of a KK Mart outlet in Bidor, Perak, in the early hours this morning, and investigators report have CCTV footage of the suspect. How do we get here? Bandar Kuching MP Kelvin Yi delivers a scathing critique, blaming politicians for indirectly fueling tensions. Bandar Kuching MP Kelvin Yi said politicians who fanned tensions are indirectly responsible for an attempted arson at a KK Mart in Perak. Yi said such an attack should not have happened in a peaceful and moderate Malaysia, where all races had learned to live in harmony. In a statement, he said the situation is indirectly caused by the current heightened situation. According to Yi, instead of finding a constructive resolution to the matter, certain leaders chose to fan the flame of division and escalate the problem, pandering anger and hate into the whole situation. He said they cannot wash their hands clean of this matter and are indirectly responsible for it, escalating unto where it is now. Yi called on police to thoroughly investigate the attempted arson and to apply the full force of the law on those responsible. He also pleaded for the law to run its course on the Sox controversy noting that charges have already been made in court. He said the court will be the best platform to prove and resolve the matter based on real facts and evidence rather than emotions from certain groups of people. Yi added that a responsible leader should have, when knowing the problem, find ways to resolve it amicably and bridge the divide rather than dividing the people. Amidst a flurry of finger-pointing, a PSM leader offers a beacon of solution in the escalating storm of the KK Mart Sox controversy. PSM's Deputy Chairperson S. Arut Chalman has issued a pressing call to Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim urging him to take decisive action to alleviate the escalating tensions surrounding the KK Mart Sox controversy. Arut Chalman emphasised that there are two clear causes of action available to the Prime Minister who he noted has thus far been hesitant to address the issue head on. The first option entails convening a Madani coalition meeting to establish a unified stance on the matter. Arun Chalman highlighted that such a move would effectively assert the coalition's authority, potentially putting UMNO in its rightful place. He said the second option for Anwar to ease tensions is to make a televised address to the nation. The controversy erupted after socks featuring the word Allah were discovered in three Kekimat outlets in Salango, prompting vehement calls for punitive measures and boycotts from figures like Amno Youth Chief Muhammad Akmal Saleh. In response, the Amno Supreme Council has rallied behind Akmal, further exacerbating the situation. In a heartfelt tribute, Anwar Ibrahim, a man who could appreciate the role of protests in a democracy, joined many on social media to mourn the loss of Anne Oi, fondly known as Anti Bursi. The Prime Minister has extended his condolences to the family of Anne Oi, also known as Anti Bursi, who passed away yesterday. In a post on Facebook, Anwar described Oi as a diligent activist and a role model for future generations to continue pushing for change. He said Ui, who remained steadfastly in the forefront, was one of the people's icons until the end of her life. Yesterday, Bursi had announced Ui's passing in a post on X. In a tribute message, the group said the iconic image of Auntie Bursi dressed in a bright yellow t-shirt and holding a white chrysanthemum drenched in chemical lace water outside the Thungshin Hospital had become the defining image of the Bursi 2.0 rally. Heartfelt tributes and condolences were also shared on social media in honour of Oi's legacy. Among those who paid tribute were Communications Minister Fahmi Fadzil. Fahmi shared the iconic image of Anti Bursi and said that the image will forever encapsulate the indomitable and defiant spirit in our quest for a better Malaysia. And that is all for me today. For more stories, you can go to kinitv.com. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and Facebook for the latest news updates. If you'd like to support independent media, do consider subscribing to malaysiakini.com. I'm Kimilia. Thanks for watching.